Hello, in this video we will start with Microsoft PowerPoint. This is the home page of Microsoft PowerPoint. From here we can choose a predefined template for our presentation or we can choose a blank presentation. I will start with a blank presentation. First step, I will save my file, for example, on desktop with name of presentation one and I will click on save. We can notice that in Microsoft PowerPoint we have the same same concept of Microsoft Word and Excel concerning the tabs and in each tab we have a groups. Uh, the new, in the new uh, option in Microsoft PowerPoint is the concept of slides so in microsoft word we have page in excel we have worksheet in powerpoint we have slides here we can see that uh, the number the slides we have this is a pan uh, preview of our slides here is the slide here we can see the slide and the content of each slide so now I have only one slide. I can add as many as slides I want by going to here, new slide, and once I click on new slide, I can choose the slide layout. We have nine layouts, title slide, title and content, section header, to content, comparison, title only, blank, content with caption, picture with caption. So, I will add, for example, now title and content. So, here is the title slide. Here, title and content. For example, I need to add a slide. Uh, I go to here, slide out, uh, to content. So, now I have uh, three slides. If I need to add a slide between number one and number two, I can click directly here. You can see between uh, slide number one and slide number two. And I can directly add, for example, a title only slide. Also, I can change the slide layout. For example, this, uh, this slide has the layout title only. I can click here on layout. And for example, I will change it to picture with caption. Also, I can change it again from here, title layout. And for example, I will add it as title and content. Also, to delete a slide, I can right-click on the slide and I can delete slide. So, I can from here, I can add a new slide. I can choose the layout. I can change the layout. Also, by using the mouse and right-click, I can add a new slide. I can duplicate a slide to have a copy of, uh, from it. I can delete a slide. And now, I can also add a section. Section is to add a diff uh, different uh, sections in, uh, for, uh, for slides. For example, I can add here, right click, add section. So now I have the section number one and section number two, and each section will have different slide. For example, I will name section two. So now I have the default section, and now I have another section, section two, which I also can add a section, uh, a slides inside the section number two. So I can divide my presentation into sections. To delete section, I can just right click. I can remove the section uh, with the slides, or I can remove the section separation, as the slide number four will be with the default sections of other slides. This concerning the uh, how to add a slide, how to change the slide layout. Let's start, for example, with the first slide. I will add a title, for example, uh, PowerPoint sample. I can add uh, a subtitle. I will add a random text equivalent, for example, of one. I added the text. So simply, uh, I can just, in each slide, I have a box, text boxes. I can directly click on inside the text box to edit the text. 
for example, uh, title, content, slide. Here I can generate, for example, equal land of three. I added, I will add three points. So simply uh, I can click inside the text box and add directly the content. So I will go back to slide number one. You can see that I have two text box, one for the title and one for the subtitle. I can directly using the mouse to change the height, to move the title also for the subtitle. I can increase, for example, the, high, the height. And I can also move using the mouse to move the box. Now, for the title, for example, I have, same as in Microsoft Word and Excel, I have the font group. In the font group, I can change the, uh, the font. For example, I can use Times New Roman. I can increase and decrease the size. I can here is to clear the formatting to go back to the normal for format. So here I will choose to times in New Roman, for example. I will increase the size. I can use bold. I can make the text bold. Here I can put it italic. Uh, I can put underline. Uh, I can to remove the underline. I, uh, to, I can click back again on the uh, under you uh, with the underline. To remove the italic, I click again on the I. To remove the bold, I click again on B. Same concept as in Microsoft Word. Uh, S is to add a shadow for the title. I can add a shadow for the title. So, uh, S, add shadow. To remove the shadow, I click back on, uh, on S. Uh, a, B, C with, uh, with a line is for strike through. I can add a cycle through uh, AV to control the letter spacing, character spacing in the inside the uh, inside the title. So I can control the spacing between letters. To add more spacing, I go to more spacing. Uh, I from here I can control the spacing between letters. So from here, for example, I can control the spacing, so uh, I will add a condensed, for example, 20 to control the spacing between letters. So here I can control the font, font size. I can increase and decrease the font size from here. I can add it bold, I for italic, U for underline, S for shadow. Uh, I can add and remove strike, strike through. From AV, I can control the character spacing. From AB, AA, I can change it for, for example, to uppercase, to lowercase, to sentence case. I can capitalize each word. Here, I can control the color. From A, I can control the color. Also, I have more options in font. For example, I can add double strike through. I can add the double strike through. Also, I can, for example, if I have formula, I need to add, for example, here, in the, if I have here uh, H2O, I can for the two, go to more option, and I can add uh, the super, so, so, sub, I can add the subscript. For example, if I have X2 and uh, 2, I must be superscript. From here, I go to more options. I can add here from here the superscript. Also, I have another option. For example, here I have single underline. If I need to add uh, to chair to a more, a more option in underline, from here I can choose the style of underline. For example, if I need double underline, and I can change also the color of underline. So. Here I have the normal underline. To control the underline options, I need to go to font option. So from here we can control. I can control the underline style and the underline color. Now for paragraph, uh, I can uh, add a list. For example, if I need to add a list, uh, I can add directly a list. For example, uh, list one. Enter, I can add list two, 
also I can change the alignment to add the alignment to the right list one list I uh, list two or item one item two item one item two so from here I can add a list I will remove now the list uh, I will uh, the first step I will start with the alignment here the alignment is to center I can align to the left align center align right or I can align justify here I can change the direction I can change the direction from left to right and uh, right to left from left to right to right to left and uh, again here I can choose change the direction I can increase and decrease the indent in the, inside the text box also from here I can choose the line spacing similar to in Microsoft Word I can choose the, uh, change the line spacing F from here uh, I can change the text direction I can rotate the text I can change the direction uh, also I can go back to the normal direction I can uh, change the uh, align text inside the text box so inside this text box I can change the align now the align is to the top I can make it in the middle or I can make it in the bottom of the text box so if, uh, from here I can change the text direction also I can change the alignment from top middle and bottom also I can uh, change the uh, for each uh, text box for example for the title I will uh, put back it to the top for the title I can choose directly the style I can choose a, a quick style to the title shape from here I can choose a direct stay direct style or from here I can uh, ch change the fill color for example I can add a outline I can choose the outline for example I will add uh, outline I will change the high width uh, the, the width of the outline I can add uh, change the style for example to dashed also I can add an effect for example I can add a 3d rotation for the title I can add shadowing reflection glow the soft edge revel same as we see in Microsoft Word I can control the shape style I can control the text inside also I can add a effect also for that text below I can also add a predefined quick style for it I can add a predefined style or I can directly use shape style to change the color for example to add an outline also from here I can add a picture as background gradient texture as background also I can choose uh, change the outline and I can apply a effect to the text box now uh, let's uh, take this example this is slide from here I can you can see that I have a bulleted list from here I can choose change the style of bulleted list or I can change it, change it to numbering list so I can control the uh, this style style of the list or the, to change it from a uh, bullet to numbering list this concerning the home tab inside Microsoft PowerPoint thank you